cool. Right, mm-hmm. it's time for Age of Trains. Age of Trains. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, so Foreground have their train. Like, this is the one here that we've seen last year. Mm. Now, since last year, they've been releasing the wagons and stuff. And the wagons have come in. This is the first time I've really had the chance to sit down and have a good look at yeah. them. That's oh. probably because we knew that you know, no work would be done coming up to so just, just check it out there. And then wait for it, wait for it. Oh, look at that. Look at all the <laughs> carriages. We've got we've got one on the end there. It doesn't quite fit. Yeah. But this is it. This is epic. This is what I was waiting for, right? Because when the train came out, I was like, oh, excited about it. So Western style train. Yeah. yeah but I was still excited about it because it goes well with their dead hands hand sort of yeah. range yeah, and yeah. stuff here, which we have bits and pieces. But the thing about the train is that it's just a locomotive yeah, you know, it's a local. It's not a train. It's a locomotive at the minute, and then the wagons are coming. Now we have a train. You can't tell that he's he's a bit you know. This is the moment. Bit nerdy about those things. This that's, is the moment. That's not a train by itself. Yeah. That's just the engine. That's not a train. That's the locomotive. Yeah. But this is the moment where it goes from locomotive to train, and this is the bit where, it, for me, it becomes like a proper bit of wargaming. Yeah. Like per, 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 paraphernalia. Paraphernalia. Yeah. Paraphernalia. Because look, like. You can get in the wagons and stuff the way they've all built it oh man look you can fit miniatures in among the seats and stuff the doors to do the doors fling open oh yep. yes doors open this is it like because there's no point in just putting a, the engine down and having a fight around the end well you no, can do you can but now you've got you've got the guts of a western town here i mean we're sitting on a sci-fi mat right but we already have a western town well underway yeah. and there's and actually think- no reason why there couldn't be a couple of gunslingers working their way carriage by carriage towards oh. each other through there oh yes age of yeah. gunslingers yeah oh man it's the way of the future saga gunslingers saga gunslingers but yeah i'm excited about it because the tra- like especially for westerns yeah like a train track and a train is kind of the central point of a western town oh, yeah they're always iconic and, and the thing is with wargaming is to get a train that's this scale mm. we should really have some miniatures Here's a miniature. No, there, there were some miniatures. Throw me one of those. One of these. It'll do. It's close enough. Yeah. Right. To get a train that actually at this scale, oh, this scale here, right, is actually kind of expensive. Yeah. You know, because if you look at O gauge and stuff, which is kind of where you're up to in size here, they're really expensive really quickly. So there's been, uh, there's been a need for something like this. Yeah. To that, come out for a while. Just, doesn't just sit on the table, but actually scales to everything else that's on the table. Let me get a nice close up for you. If I can get my hands out of the way. I mean that's just cool. This is like the central point of your game right here. Because I know in the in the club here in the in the suite, they've been playing a Western they've game a couple played, of times. Uh, now. Legends of the Old West, which is a, a nice wee game. And, and it's not alone. I mean there's Dead Man's Hand and then there's um even Wild there's, West Exodus, to be brutally honest. Tombstone as well Tombstone, from Black Scorpion. Yeah. So Yeah. So it appeals to quite a few games, and yeah. Wild West Exodus is a good one to mention. Yeah. Slightly bigger. It's 32 mil, but then the likes of these buildings have been made yeah. with 32 mil in mind because yeah. they do do a 28 mil version. Yeah. So so if you're playing Tombstone or um, Legends of the Old West, which use the sort of the older miniatures or <coughs> not even older, more regular scale, these buildings look slightly out of proportion because they've deliberately widened the doors and lengthened the windows, but they do both sets. So you can yes. go, right, well, I'm going to be mostly playing Wild West. I'll need the 32 mil. I'm going to be mostly playing Legends of the Old West. I'll go for the 28 mil. Yeah. But it doesn't really bother me either way, because no. you can put them beside each other and it all blends pretty well together. Yeah, it's literally just the doors and windows. So like so, Wild West Exodus, yeah. Dead Man's Hand, yeah. um, all sorts of games. Yeah. But the thing is, they had a train and stuff going, but it didn't... It looked nice, Tony. Your train does look nice. But this sort of thing takes it to another yeah. level. And this ability to get this oop, to get this in this state, like you just put it together and it already looks painted, is just awesome. And I'll probably take I'll probably take some time and actually start thinking, well, do you know what? If I paint some brass here and yeah. there and I start doing some touch up. I might talk about that in the backstage a bit more, possibly. But let's have a look at some of the can we throw the um Do you want the cattle car? Yeah, cat car up. Let's have we look at that. So here we go on the outside. Doors on this side open. Let's pop the lid. Oh, this is cool. That just pops off. In we go. Look, you can open these. So you can put a cattle in and out. Yep. Funny we brought some cows in with us. I know there's I, toy ones about. There we go. Look at that. You can put a shark in oh, there. Let instead. me just turn around the other side. 
<laughs> but this is it, right? If you get a load of these, yeah, and a load of these, right, and you forego the Western style engine, you can even put this into bolt action. Yeah, mm -hmm. because oh, God, yeah. yes, although it's maybe a, a Wild West sort of styled saloon car. Or, or <clears throat> There's not a huge amount of difference between car. It's a yeah, it's not a huge amount no. of difference. And if I could get the lid back on, <laughs> to, to you, it goes on. You. It goes on. Yeah, but I was talking to them about that. Uh, oh. That's because I still live for that, is it? That, yes, that's that what, that's what yeah. it's doing. Yeah, I was talking to them about that, and they're saying, "Well, I think I can. I can think I can say they're pretty keen on the idea of yeah. bringing out uh, a more European style train as well. So you can you can build up a Western train, get the wagons, but then put a European train on the front. Yeah, and suddenly it, it just sits for bold action, yeah. and it, you're just like, oh yes. Although I do, Funny. I do want to see a armoured version, if they are going to start introducing trains in bolt action. See, I'm not that, well, I'll take an armoured version. Oh, yeah. But I'll take a regular train first. Oh, yeah. Because, like, regular trains are what most of the troops have shifted around on and supplies and stuff. And then you take your red carriages and they'll probably, and they have, right, so they've currently got, well, we have so, stuff. We, we have stuff here. We have, we have other stuff in the range. Yeah, like, so you're not limited to just having your red rolling stock. They are currently doing Black. Black, and I think there was a green one as well. Yeah, further down the page, there should be a green one. At least when we were doing searching for trains. So they had a green one. Yeah. They had black ones and they had red ones. And the great thing about that is, you know, during that period of time, every different company, company had, had their its own, own livery. livery. Yeah. So you mix it all together and you suddenly got a really interesting, because for me, yeah, you think you've got the tracks and stuff. Yeah. As you see here. I don't know if they do curves and things yet. Maybe if you can look there, but even if they don't, I've only do, seen straights so far. Yeah, for me that's good because all I really want is like two or three straights, yeah, all cutting through the middle of a board at, a, at like an angle, yeah, and then you get these. Even if you don't have the 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 engine, mm. even if you just put the wagons down and moving your tanks and stuff yeah. through, because we've done that in here a few times with some toy trains and yeah, stuff, almost like a, a a yard, yes, where they're just parked up. But yeah. it's never quite been the right scale. It's always felt a little bit weird. Yeah. This gives you the opportunity to do something amazing. And then you have the accessories and stuff that we have here. Like if I lift the train laid out here, if I lift this out of the way, you can see, you know, they have little uh, things you can add on yeah, to. Yeah, so there's boardwalks the like. So you can use the boardwalks to make your platforms. And then to make that work, there's little, there's other risers and stuff that you can get. I'll just put that out of the way. So we're using our bank here. So we have these little risers. See that? And you can just put them, put the buildings down on top of it, which is cool. And they just come like this, I assume. Yeah. Is this sold separately? They are sold separately, so you can either buy kits with them included, or if you've already got some of the buildings, they do sell the risers and boardwalks yeah. uh, as individual packs as well. So if you've already got some of them in the past, then you just need to bring them up if you're going to start putting them into your muddy westerns. And they come in a couple of different colours. You can get yeah. the more, well, it's that sort of sandy, earthy looking, woody colour ones. But the ones I like the most is the washed out boardwalks yeah. and things. And it works really well. You can't see it over here. Oh, man, i got to bring it over. We just had to bring the telegraph office in. Telegraph office, right at the train? <coughs> it's, it's, a oh. Western, it's a Western classic. Let's it face is. it. You know, everybody comes in, gets off the train, and then immediately goes. It's... it's Three tender Yuma, yeah. it's uh, good, bad, and the ugly. It's all of those. Yeah, so even if you don't have the train station, which they've got, yeah. if you've got some buildings like this, this, for example, is the bank. Well, let's see if you can see that. So there's the bank. We thought, well, we'll put the bank here, and it's got a side door, so the money comes in off the train, so it becomes the money train. Money train. You know? It gives people something to fight over. To be perfectly honest, you could, with something like this, and if it's staying in a Wild West setting, you don't even need the train in the stock. No. You could just get the tracks and the boardwalk and the like, yeah, and and then your train station, and then build up your town around it and just have the tra or have the tracks running through the middle of town, yeah, or wherever you know at the edge of town if needs be. Um, but what better gaming scenario for like a Wild West game than robbing the train? <clears throat> robbing the train, oh, yeah. train, train is awesome. great. Yeah. I mean, I remember when I went to see um, the Money Train, yeah, in the cinema. Even now. in a modern sense, like robbing a train is still fun. Actually, they were showing the movie right. <laughs> And there's this bit where Wesley Snipes he smashes someone's head against a, a glass, like a mirror. Yeah. And everything turns black. And the whole audience sat there for about 15 minutes while it was just black, thinking, oh, he must have blacked out. 
this must be part of the movie. We're experiencing him in a blacked out phase. And then a projectionist came down and said, ah, the bulb broke. <laughs> <laughs> We're all sitting there watching this movie for like 15 minutes, thinking, this is, this is really weird. You don't often get someone blacked out for this amount of time. Ah, that was the bulb broke. No replacement. Never got to see it. Had to go. Leave. Wow. <laughs> That's, that's a quality <laughs> cinema right there. Quality. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. You can tell I'm excited yeah. about it. I, oh, the, here is the train station. Yeah, here is the train station. Boy. Because I, I know the minute you've seen it, it was like, oh, I need a train station. I was like, did they do a train station? Yeah. Yes, yes, they do do a train station. So, unfortunately, it won't get any bigger than that. If you click the pictures down below, I think they just open in a wee window. Oh, that's there we a bit go. Handier. So, that's the front of your train station. With its clock. Yeah. So, you know it's what time it is. That's a pretty swanky town, actually. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing but the best for yeah. Timstone. There's the back. It's as big as Paris in a few years. It's even got its awnings and stuff. Yep. So your train can just rock right up behind. Yeah. And once again, because it's foreground, detailed interior. All the interiors and so stuff yeah. rocking. Even coming through to the rolling stock. Yeah. Like, we've probably shown it off before, but you can take the, like, you can take this bit off the train here. I have a blue tacked on at the minute. What I would probably do is magnetize it. So you can pop the wee lid off and get your men standing there. If if you're that speaking particular which, about speaking it. Speaking of which, have you seen there's a coal fire burning in the uh, in the engine? What? Let's see. Oh, there is the coal fire. Yeah. In the have you not noticed that? Look at that. That's so cool. They've done a good job on that because they sent this one through built. Yeah. I didn't have time to build this, so it's amazing to see it built because now I can just take it and play with it. Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> Looking forward to it so much. But yeah, I think there'll be. Uh, I think they'll be European engines yeah. just from having a chit chat with them. It would be a no brainer. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, if you're it's something have... that they're going to. They've already got most of the stuff there. If you've got the track, you've got the carriages and the stuff. Yeah. You're only really having to worry about changing the skin on some of the carriages, maybe. But, but even but if you the, want a but particular. But the rest of the internals could stay the same, so that's not a major rebuild. Yeah. It's really just the locomotive itself. Even if you, But even if you want particular colours and stuff, like yeah. if you really wanted to go, oh, well, I just want it in a particular shade of green for a yeah. particular company or a particular camo and stuff, it takes the paint really well. Yeah. Like, so if you want to do your Orient Express. Yes. You could. That'll straight work. in there. That'll work for African trains, mm -hmm. Indian trains, Oriental trains. Jobs are good. Jobs are good, yeah. Well, obviously, there's differences in the in the rolling stock between these places. Yeah. But, but your main difference well, we is in your... We don't need to be nerds about it. Yeah, your main yeah. difference is in your engine. Yeah. You know, if we're not into scale modelling of trains and stuff here... Some of us aren't, certainly. You know, you could take this engine here and you could Europeanize this a bit by... You knock this, you make this a straight up... Yes, you remove the cow catcher and Yeah, that take that yeah. off, remove the cow catcher like you say... Um, paint the colours a little bit differently and you could probably make that quite European looking just like a more of a smaller shunter engine yeah. rather than the big powerful ones. I can see Ben's eyes glazing. <laughs> Should we talk about Sagas more, Ben? <laughs> That's not going to help bring you round, is it? We're going to have to talk about Euro Truck Simulator instead. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm kind of excited about the trains. I know they've been on their on their site for a while, but this is the first chance I've had an opportunity to. Oh, and <laughs> they don't. I don't think they have curves and stuff, but um. No, not yet. These yeah. are these are what is this magnetized? It's magnetized. Ah, it's it's just they magnetize the wheels. So. Pop it on, so it can go around corners if you want. I'm not interested in corners. I'm more interested in points. This points, as you can have a straight, which then goes off onto another straight, so you can have like shunting stuff around on on your station and stuff. Oh man, that'd be cool. <laughs> I need to be shunter. What they need is they need some flatbed stuff to put cargo into and logs yeah. and all that sort of stuff. And then we're really talking because if they come out with the flatbed, then you can stick tanks on it. Well, that's true. Yeah. yeah can, Actually, yeah. flatbed oh. loader would be the way to go. Oh, suit you, sir. Suit you. Oh. Suit you. Gosh. Right. Before I get any more excited about it, actually, we're going to have an interview with Terrain Tutor. But before we do that, during the week here, we put out a video where we were wet washing yes. um, some foreground buildings. Hmm. Right. So you put water down and you put acrylics down, you push it into corners and stuff like Stops that. Stops you getting the tide marks. Yes. Yeah, if yeah. you haven't had a chance to watch it, go and check that out because that would be a great way to weather your train and stuff. Yeah. Now, are there bits that I would change mm. on the train? If I can get in close, there probably are. Like this bit here is a bit wiggly because it's just a bit of HDF. I would probably nip that off and just put a wee bit of brass rod on that. Paint that brass. Yeah. These are kind of cool though. They don't really need change these, these wee rods and stuff. 
Actually, that's probably the only thing I would take off. This is the only bit that irritates me about the train is this wee bit here, because it tends to break. Because you can reach for it and just go... Which somebody has done. Yeah. yeah. So if you stick a wee brass rod and you reach for it, it just goes into your finger instead. Yeah, which is fine. We're all used to that. All wee buns. Yeah.